Hello class, welcome to today's math lesson. Today we are going to be trading pennies for dimes. So the first thing that you're going to need is a little bowl of pennies and a little bowl of dimes. And when you have your pennies, I'm going to have you find 14 of them. I'm going to count them out. I'm going to put mine in rows of two because I find that easier to count. Let's see how many I have so far. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And now I have 14. I have 14 cents. How many pennies do we need to have to trade for one dime? Did you say 10? A dime is worth 10 cents. If I were to trade some pennies for a dime, I would trade 10 of them. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And I will put those in my little bowl and I can replace it with a dime. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I still have 14 cents. Our tens place shows us that we have one group of 10 or a dime and we have four ones or four pennies. 14 pennies is the same as one dime and four pennies. Well, let's try this with 20 pennies. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. I have 20 pennies, and that is 20 cents. Now, 20 pennies is the same as, hmm, how many dimes? Do you remember how many pennies we need to trade for one dime? It's 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I'm going to trade these pennies for a dime. Hmm, do I have enough pennies left over to trade for another dime? Let's count. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I do. I do have enough. I can trade these 10 pennies for another dime. 10, 20. 20 pennies equals two dimes and zero pennies. Here I have 36 pennies. 36 pennies equals, hmm, how many dimes and how many pennies? Now I give you a big hint. Do you see that I put our money into groups? I put them into groups of 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 1, 2, 3. I have three dimes. Hmm. How many pennies? 2, 4, 6. Is that enough to trade for another dime? It's not, is it? 36 pennies equals three dimes and six pennies because the three is in our tens place and that tells us how many groups of 10 or how many dimes and the six is in the ones place and that tells us how many ones or how many pennies. Let's try this again. I have 47 pennies. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, and 47. How many dimes can I trade for? Let's see. One dime, two, three, and four. I was able to trade 40 of our 47 pennies for four dimes. Hmm, how many pennies do I have left over? Count them with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 47 pennies equals four dimes and seven pennies. 
Let's try to do some of these questions together. If we have 24 pennies, how many dimes do we have and how many pennies? Did you say two dimes and four pennies? We have two dimes because the two is in the tens place. It's telling us how many groups of ten or how many dimes. And the four is in the ones place, telling us how many cents or pennies there are. For 79 pennies, how many dimes and how many pennies do we have? You're right, seven dimes and nine pennies. What about 41 pennies? You're so smart. It is four dimes and one penny. Four dimes because the four is in the tens place and that tells us how many groups of ten or how many dimes. Now I have a tricky question for you. Our tricky question says that we have two dimes and 18 pennies. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Hmm, how many dimes is that and how many pennies? Well, it's tricky because we have more than ten here, don't we? We can trade in two, four, six, eight, ten pennies for one dime. And that would give us three dimes and two, four, six, eight pennies. Two of our three dimes are listed here under dimes. And the other dime is this one group of ten in our pennies. Two plus one is three dimes and eight pennies. How about this hard question? What if we have five dimes and twelve pennies? Well, we've got five dimes, but could we trade some of these pennies for a dime? We can. Look right here. In our tens place, we have another group of ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. This is showing our group of ten, and this is showing our two left over. Hmm, so we can trade this group of ten for a dime. So how many dimes do we have all together? Yes, it is six dimes and two pennies. Oh class, I would like for you to practice this today. Have fun playing with dimes and pennies. Bye-bye!